Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft. That is the new title of the show. I kind of pulled a fast one on you, didn't I? I think I had uh, in the original thumbnail of the video, it said Minecraft Survival. And that was like, bleh. Everybody calls their Let's Plays Minecraft Survival, but not that many people call it Paul Plays Minecraft. So <laughs> I thought that would be not only is it accurate, but it's a little more exciting. Or not. Anyway, it is now my first night here in my new world. And so far I have survived, but I have survived it in luxury. Check check out the hotel here. This is like a five-star hotel. Unlike uh, my typical first night, which is spent in a, in, a, in a hidey hole. Come on, buddy, you can do it. One foot in front of the other. Come on. I know it's all about baby steps. Oh, there we go. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, this is a far cry. This is a major upgrade for me. It's a little uh, it's a little disconcerting, actually. I usually spend first nights in a nasty, dirty, wet hole. Unlike a hobbit. Sting! It stings us! Yeah, lots of hobbit references coming up. Let me tell you, December 14th is um, Peter Jackson's The Hobbit. And I cannot wait... Huge fan of J.R.R. Tolkien books and also Peter Jackson's uh, Lord of the Rings movies. So, very excited for that. Okay, so here's the plan, I think. I'm going to move in here. We're going to use this jungle ruin as my base of operations. This will be my home. This is right up my alley, in fact. I, I love this kind of... Is there a chicken inside? Or is that just flame? Okay, better not be a chicken. Uh, home invasion! Was it a chicken? It is a chicken. Excuse me. Gosh. Oh, I'm full. All right, let's get rid of that. Wow. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff here to sort out, don't I? I should have done this off camera. And I suppose that would lead me to this question. Do you want me to do all of this on camera? Or would you prefer that I do this kind of thing off camera? So let me know. Or on camera, rather. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, all right, let's let's uh, let's put you away. One cooked chicken. Not sure what I'm going to do with that iron yet. Let's just put it away for now. And the leather. All right, and we are going to renovate this place here shortly, so I'm going to keep some of this stuff in my hands. Let's go and do this. So, yeah, I don't know if that's something you're interested in, if you want to watch... Uh, the whole thing, and nothing but the whole thing, I guess. That's up to you guys. So you might want to put that in the comments. You want the whole thing, or just, um, you know, cut this kind of stuff out, which can take some time, and it's not really all that compelling to watch. You know, for example, I could have started here at this point, and had everything sorted and ready to roll, and then we could have just started recording right at this point. Oh, boy. More neighbors coming to say hi. All right, so let's uh, well, let's check out the new house, I guess. Oh, this window is all overgrown. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, do some a little bit of remodeling, a little renovation work here, but I think it's quite livable. Oh my gosh, bushes inside the house. It's a nice view. So yeah, this temple here is um, reminds me very much of an Incan temple, a game in fact that I have. Uh, it's it's called Incan Gold, and I forget who makes it, but one of the designers of Incan Gold is a guy who was one of the designers of uh, Ticket to Ride by Days of Wonder. But I urge you to check out Incan Gold if you like adventure, Indiana Jones adventure style games or movies and so forth you probably will enjoy it it's a it's a very quick game you can be played in about 20 minutes or so up to eight maybe eight players i forget but it's not that expensive it's kind of a card based game now i'm just digging this out a little bit so i can see the front we've got a nice little stairway here I don't know how much of this I'm going to dig out. I don't want to waste too much time doing this. Because I still have to go do some farming and stuff, but there we go. 
Let's get rid of these leaves, though. So if I get rid of you, they should decay. I hope. Oh, no. Well, maybe not, because I'm going to have to get rid of all these. I don't mind having some of this stuff here in front. Gives it kind of an organic feel. But uh, you got to have good curb appeal, as it were. Otherwise, no one's going to come and visit. Oh, there we go. It's a piece of wood right here. Growing oddly on the side of my new temple. We're going to give this a name. We're going to call this the, the Machu, Machu Picchu. Which is an actual place. It's a uh, an Incan an Incan ruin in Peru. I studied this stuff in college, you know. <laughs> I don't remember much, but <laughs> just enough to be dangerous. <laughs> the Ma Machu Picchu, I think it was called, the Temple of the Sun. And I, if I recall, Machu Picchu, Ma 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 Machu Picchu. It's uh means old peak. Because it was up on, uh, like, a mountainside. Oh, look at this! There's a ravine over there. I didn't even notice. Cool. All right. So, home sweet home. And I'll make a sign here. We'll put a little... Um, give it a name and all that jazz. But first things first, let's get some more cookies. Or rather, cocoa beans to make the cookies. Have a steady supply of some food. This is great. We're right there. We've got the NPC village. I can do some trading with them. Nice and close. Now here's the chickens. Oh, there you are. What are you doing in the bush? <laughs> hey, listen, pal. I've seen chicken in a pot. I've seen chicken in a basket. I've even seen chicken in a can, but I have never seen a chicken in a bush. So, welcome to Freakhood. I'm going to exploit this, you know. I'm going to charge the local populace to come around here and check that out, because that's just silly. I'm not going to let them out. Chicken in a bush. Let's head down here and see what we can do for renovation down here. I think I'll can make this like a, a little room. Be a bedroom. I'm gonna have to make a bed, of course. And then this will become my spawn point, and that would be nice. It's got a torch up here, so it's uh, yeah, it's a it's a fair arrangement here. It's not uh, the most comfortable place. Whoops, but it'll do in a pinch. Yeah, so I studied this stuff in college, uh, archaeology and. Anthropology, paleontology, all that ology stuff really turned me on. I wanted to be a real Indiana Jones. And you know what? I'm actually... I'm actually like Indiana Jones. On TV. I, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not a real Indiana Jones, but I play one on YouTube. I guess you could say, right? Minecraft gives me the ability to be Indiana Jones, man. Is that not the coolest thing? It's probably one of the reasons I really took to Minecraft and what compelled me to get so involved in making videos and tutorials and stuff because uh, I had not done any of that before Minecraft. Which, uh, by the way, leads me to there's been a lot of questions about... Um, well, I think I asked people in the last episode to give me some topics of discussion, anything that you want to talk about, so we can uh, talk about it here and in the comments, and you can go to my my website, Punchwood, too. There's a, a forum there, so it's a heck of a lot easier talking on the forum, honestly, but... So, people are asking me questions, and I think what I might do is use this Let's Play as a sort of AMA session as well. Not the whole thing, but we'll devote a few minutes to questions and answers. AMA, by the way, if you don't know what that stands for, it's Ask Me Anything. Now, you can ask me anything. doesn't mean I'm going to answer the questions, so let's not get too personal. But if you want to ask about making videos on YouTube or, or whatever, then uh, 
put them in the comments and I will pick a couple maybe per episode I guess and uh, and I'll answer those questions in fact I've already chosen a few to talk about in this episode let's see All right that's that window still covered up I like it what do you think of my new home? I've been watching a lot of HGTV. I don't even know what that stands for. It's like the it's like the home show. Some of the shows there are listed. I love it. Income Properties, Property Brothers. I'm <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, that's, I mean, I hate to even admit it, but there are some good shows. I love them. I think that was this is what the window was, right? Wait, let's go back. Oh, there it is, yeah. Hello, window. Oh, man. All right, we really need to open this up a bit. So, I'll tell you, watching that show kind of gets the creative juices flowing. It's amazing what some of these people can do with a little bit of money. Well, a lot of money, too. Particularly the one in Love It or List It, the, the lady, the girl, the, the uh, British lady that renovates homes. The amount of work that she accomplishes, and I don't know how long it takes her, but some of the stuff she does is just amazing. Completely and utterly. Just beautiful um, renovation and remodeling and decoration and so forth. It's never really been my thing. Not a big concern about that ever. But uh, when you own a home... It's, uh, you know, it's not a bad thing to think about, particularly if you're going to sell or your family's growing or something like that. Then, uh, then you're going to start thinking about um, more space or more efficient space or whatever. All right, I think that's probably good enough. Why don't we go do a little bit of exploring for now? We'll come back here and do some more of that later. I, I do want to go check out um, the surroundings here and see what we can find. And we'll put you away... I think we'll put you guys away for now. I don't really need oh, the cobble. Cobble's always good to have on you. I'm going to need some more wood, too, apparently. Machu Picchu. Incan Temple. Awesome. All right. I like that. Oh, by the way. Oh, hey, a ravine. Holy crap. Look at There's a dungeon down there, too. Whoa. Oh, this is sick. Very nice. This seed is amazing. Oh, man. Oh, it's getting dark already. All right. Well, I guess I should go down there, huh? You go first. Um, I'll just make a waterfall. Because there's... Look at that. There's coal down there. I haven't seen an ocelot, though. All right, yeah, let's, uh, ooh, hey, Creeper, I had that same idea. You want to go down there? I can help you with that. I can indeed. I can indeed. I can indeed. Oopsie. Okay. Might as well, right? Let's go. What else are we going to do? Actually, I should make a bed. Although, the spawn's really not that far, so if I die, it's not much of a walk. There's the, uh, the dungeon over there. But first, let's grab some of this coal. So, uh, this <laughs> the seed is great. Completely random. I just hit the button generate world and it stuck me here i was hoping for something good and this is what i got which a town npc village a ruin and uh, a dungeon that's pretty good that's very lucky and this nice little ravine here too well i prefer underground ravines but i guess you can't ask for everything right beggars can't be choosy 
hear water. That might just be a lake up above, or it might be something under underground here. I think it's underground. So if there's water flowing down here, then there's probably another cave. Ooh, what's this? Nothing. Alright, I think that's just gonna be a waste. Let's not worry about that right now. Oh! Yeah, that is that is the opening sound. So there is some kind of a cave there, but let's go up to this dungeon and check that out. Curious to see what kind of dungeon it is. Let's grab this first. Here, skeletons. Skeleton dungeon would be great. It's for bones and uh, particularly arrows. Oh, more iron. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Let's get to the uh, let's get to some of the questions, I guess. So maybe I, I'm not sure how much time I have here, but um, oh, I wrote them down over here. One. Let's see. The first question will be. Light on the subject. Yeah, that's definitely a. What are you peeking around the corner over here, spy chicken? You see that? <laughs> oh, in fact, that, all right. That was one of the questions, and I'll, I'll put down the name up in the uh, in the video. The guy that asked the question. It was. Uh, where did the term spy chicken come from? Well, you know what? I don't really remember exactly when it was, but it was an early let's play, or early tutorial of mine. Now it's starting to get loud, isn't it? Where um, there was, it was an alpha. It was actually quite a while ago, back in the beginning of my tutorials. Whoops. Oh hi. Oh, there's water in there too. Isn't that cool? Hey. <laughs> Whoa. Close encounter. Are we gonna shoot or are we gonna talk? You gonna whistle, Dixie. Are you gonna pull those pistols? I think that's how it was. That was uh, Clint Eastwood. Anyway, um... Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Hello there! Oh god, don't knock me down off that cliff, please. So, it's a skeleton dungeon. Why don't we just do this for the time being? Everybody knows your name. So it came from, uh, there was just one episode where I, I think I was underground and I was doing like uh, my mine, working on my mine. All right, stop that now. I've got him on hard here. This arrow's hit pretty hard. And there was a, uh, I forget what I was teaching in the tutorial, but I'm going to light this up before they sp spawn in here with me. And there was this chicken watching me on a ledge. And he was just sitting there, just checking me out. As I was... <laughs> what? Are you serious? Look at this. That little turkey. Man, that hurts. <laughs> hey, somebody get one of those out, please. Ow. And the cheek. And there was this chicken just watching me. You know how the animals in Minecraft just kind of watch you, right? They just, they're coded to just stare at you, which is kind of cool. It's like they have a little personality and they're interested in what you're doing. And this chicken was just there. I don't know how he got there. It was underground. He must have fallen in a hole somewhere. And he was just watching me do my tutorial. And at some point I said, all right, we got a spy here. And then it seemed from that point on, every now and then when I was doing an episode, there was always a chicken around. So I just started the uh, I started the conspiracy that all chickens were spies working for somebody, and I didn't know who or what, but that they were all spies, and they had to be eliminated. So I think I, yeah, I went on some chicken genocide for a little while, just make things interesting, but and funny. Oh dear. Okay, there's water there. So that's pretty much how that started. And uh, it kind of, um, 
kind of became a term that a lot of people used here and there. I guess maybe from my tutorials or who knows. But I, I think I was probably the first person to do that. Call them chi uh, spy chickens. All right, this could be good. This could be good. So I could make some sort of a trap here. It's nice that the water's already provided. We could do like a drowning trap or have them flow out or something into a different kind of trap. But man, they hurt. I'm going to have to get some... Some light in there to shut that down for the time being. But they do hurt indeed. Okay, can I do that one? Yes. Okay, and then this one. And we have a way back up. Alright, well that's cool. Alright, let's get out of here for now. There's a spy chicken now. Speaking of them... You shouldn't be down here alone. It's dangerous. All right, I think we're going to head back up to um, Machu Picchu. Jungle ruin. After I take some of this coal. And then we'll call it a day. So, yeah, feel free to put any kind of comment in as far as what you want to see, how much of this you want to see, and also any questions that you might have for me. Be anything you want. It can be YouTube related, video making related, uh, Minecraft related, or otherwise. Here we go. Whee. I'll probably cut up some vine and make it more reliable access here because swimming up is never fun. I'll make some shears and then we can go out and maybe find some sheep and get a bed going and we'll start turning this into a home. And then I'll think, uh, love it or list it. I'll, I'll decide later once it's done. Will I want to live here or will I want to list it? Sell it and move on to a new location. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, oh boy, let's, uh, I'm going to have to get some furnaces going here. Get at least two furnaces going, we'll split up this coal. One and two. Split you up. And we'll put you guys in there. And I think that's it for now. I'm going to have to go get some more wood. I want to get some doors up here. And then uh, we'll get some sand cooked up. We'll make some windows maybe. Or maybe I'll just keep it open here. I don't really know yet. But suffice it to say, this will be my first home. Oh, well, might as well. Let's just give it the proper name right now while we're here. Three signs now. Man, you kids, you guys got it easy. It used to be one sign. Okay, let's put it right over here. We're going to call this the... Ma Chu. It's not going to fit on one line, is it? Pikchu. Yes, it will. Old Peak. I think that's what that means, if I recall from my college days. Old Peak. Temple of the Sun. Awesome. All right. Not a bad home. All right. We'll see you all soon. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh,. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.